Welcome to ZP Productions. This is an initial impression of the Shunling M9 Plus. Now, this is something that is launched, I believe, just last year. And this is a DEP with a 4499 AKM chip. So it's a bit different from what you see me normally use, which is the M17. This is the ESS dual ESS deck. This is a dual AKM deck. So today will be an initial impression and uh, I will not talk too much on specs. I mean, it is a flagship of Shunling. It is definitely lighter than my M17. Provides almost one watt of power into balance. That's what I know, a 900 something uh, milliwatt. But you know, those are very big numbers that you probably don't really care unless you're using some of the most power hungry headphones. Normally for depths, well, um, I use it with IEMs and today I'm going to try it out. This is going to be a very dirty initial impression because I have never heard of it before. Um, and I'm just going to compare my M17 with similar songs. So I'm going to use Spotify because for some reason Apple Music is not working here. So no high res music for me today. Uh, and we'll take a look or should I say take a listen of the sound quality. Now for this test, I'll be using my U12T here. This is a U12T and this is with the EBT stainless steel tips and it gives the one of the best clarity and most liveliest sound that I ever heard from a IEM. And I just want to try it because you know, I just want to know what's the difference between this and this. Whether is it even worth to you know change to this or should I keep my you know, break here. I find that a lot of time this break is good for testing because it has all the weirdest ports in the world. But you know, I don't really need most of the ports. I mean, 6.35 when they are use it, uh, maybe during Ken Jam for testing some headphones. But I'm very interested to actually test this out. So for the first song, I always like to use my Edo song, Edo song. Uh, let me see, uh, I should use the other Edo library. This is Edo. And then I will try my Yes, backlight. Let's try this here. Okay, PCM. I, I, one thing I like to say is that, you know, the visuals of this DAP is very nice. I mean, it has a, you know, a small little LCD. I'm not sure if you can see this small little LCD here that says like, oh, PCM 44.1. And then when you change the volume, it actually tells you what is the current volume. So you can actually off the screen and then still do whatever setting you want and know what's there without, <laughs> Awning the depth itself. You no know, other depths you really have on it to actually take a look at those settings. So this is a very, very nice touch. A small little LCD that does something different. So without wasting time, let's try out Backlight from One Piece, sung by Edo. I love this song. Very nice bass, very sparkling highs, and very exciting to listen with lively IEMs. Okay, I heard the song on, uh, you know, the Shanling itself, the M9 Plus, and I'm going to try it on my M17. Now, with initial impressions between the M9 Plus and the M17, both of them running Spotify, listening to the song Backlight from Edo, um, my initial impression is that, firstly, the soundstage of the AKM is a touch bigger. The Shanling is just a touch bigger. I don't know whether it's the AKM or the amplifier, but it's just a touch bigger in soundstage. Uh, in terms of dynamics, I do feel that the M17 dynamics is, is a bit more punchy. Well, the Shanling is just, I guess, have a little bit more atmosphere. You know? So you can say it sounds a little bit less dynamic too. Well, the M17 is really dynamic sounding and really clean sounding between the notes. This one has a little bit more something filling the gap kind of feel. And then when it comes to the treble, I did notice that there is a bit more treble on the Shanling M9 Plus versus the M17. The M17 just have a slightly less treble, especially the age of instrument. So the age of instrument is like very extremely crisp on the M9 Plus, while the M17 has a little bit more rounded and smoother edges for treble itself. And especially for this track where there's this symbol that is always crashing behind, lightly cling, 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 cling. I don't know how to really put it. But on the uh, M17, it's like smoother sound, you know, it doesn't, you know, call attention to itself while on the M9 Plus it does call attention to itself and depending on your tolerance it can be a little bit too much but to people who love travel and the AG clean music 
you know, this can probably work out. Now, this is, of course, backlight. No, let's listen to another song. Uh, this time, maybe something from, uh, I don't know, You Are Sobe? Uh, yeah, I will listen to The Blessing. So in the second song which I tried, The Blessing from You Are Sobe, I just noticed that firstly, of course, the dynamics, you know, the M17 is still a little bit more dynamic, the highest to the lowest, and then there is like silence in between the notes. It's quite interesting. Well, the M9 Plus is a bit more atmospheric in nature, but it's very slight for these two, really slight. I mean, the biggest difference that I heard in this is the vocals itself. Um, to put it in simple terms, the M17 feels pure. That's how I explain the vocal. It feels clean and pure for the vocals, especially in this region of uh, 2 minutes and about 4 seconds. There was a part of this song where mainly it's Ikura just singing with very little instruments, just a piano, I believe, behind the back. Um, the M17 is just pure vocals. But the M9 Plus adds a little bit of that smoothness and it feels just slightly forward too. So it, it has this like uh, romantic effect, if you want to ask me. Um, you know, a very slight effect of this. Now, is it really, really obvious? No, uh, but I didn't notice it just now when I'm playing it. Yeah, I just listen again and it really gives me that effect. So the difference is that the M17 from Feel really is this pure sound. Uh, if you are looking for like clean, pure sound, the M17 really gives you that effect. And that, that can be very nice. It feels like silence between Ikura's voice and the piano kind of effect you get there. But the M9 Plus gives you that slightly smoother sound, the very... I was like, yes, slightly more romantic, upfront type of vocals that you get. It's very slight difference, but I think it will make a difference if you are heavy into vocals. The M9 Plus may be slightly better there, but if you're looking at dynamics and tracks with a lot of instruments, I find that the M17 will give me that little bit more separation, the differences, even though the M9 Plus do have a slightly more... Uh, sound stage, but the M17 is just this pureness that separates everything so cleanly for the IEMs to listen. I mean, uh, it's a very interesting effect and uh, you know, I really enjoy it, but rather than me just keep saying, saying stuff, let me listen to one more music to give you a better impression, right? Uh, now, this one, the next one, uh, I want to play something from Egoist. Egoist has really nice, uh, The I think Departures is good. Now, Departures is a very vocal heavy song. So if you're interested in Japanese vocals, female artists, and you want something really smooth, try the Egoist Departure. This song is just about, you know, this lady at the start that sings in this very smooth and very calming voice for the first one minute plus. And I can tell you that for this one, again, it's a very different feeling. You know, the... M17 is just pureness, pureness, it's literally pure music, like in the dark silent room instruments are playing, while the M9 Plus have this atmosphere to it, you know, this smoothness and a slight touch of warmth in the air, plus, you know, when the vocals are playing, it just feels a bit more, slightly more bodied and, you know, a little bit smoother. And when she starts at this point, at I think one minute, then she starts going higher, it feels like, you know, there's this very smooth transition up that gives a bit of goosebumps when you're listening to the M9 Plus versus the M7. M7 is just this very pure understanding of the sound. That's how I put it. Now, which is actually better? It depends on personal preference. I really don't think either is better than the other. But for me, if I was to pick pure vocals... I think the M9 Plus from Shanling is a better choice than the Feel M17. But the M17 when it comes to rock, pop, or anything with tons of instruments that is going to crash around, and Adol's music, because Adol's music is very heavy in instruments, I think the M17 will be better. But for just now, the departure, hands down, M9 Plus is better. So there is a difference. And this difference 
it's a very personal preference and I don't think either one is better. Now, I won't be using headphones to try today. I assume that, you know, this one, at least from spec-wise, should be more than enough to run any of the headphones I have here, at least um, those that I have here in my table. Uh, on, my, on my table, not in my table. <laughs> so, I think that, you know, the M9 Plus is pretty exciting to me. I mean, uh, it is a smaller, significantly smaller depth than the M17. It also gets warm. It gets warm to the touch after usage. Uh, it does only have two ports rather than an insane four ports. Uh, USB below with a micro SD that is easy accessible while there is also a USB, multiple USBs and micro USB below and even a special power socket and even a, a coaxial, I believe this is yeah, the coaxial. But you know, as a depth itself, if you're going for a lot of vocals, you want slightly warmth in your mids, and you want a little bit more edge in your music because as I said, the treble here is also slightly higher. It gives a bit more definition to the edge itself. But when it comes to focus, this is where the magic is. I mean, if you are looking for sheer cleanliness, impact and separation, and then you want every single detail <laughs> displayed to you, the M17, the pureness, really when you listen side by side, you can feel the pureness in the M17. Well, the M9 Plus have this just more feeling sound, more atmospheric, a little bit more smoother, instruments are a little bit more clear and crisp, and then you have the vocals that are really smooth and a little bit more forward and powerful. Everything is just a little bit, you know, just to note that the whole purpose of any form of deck, in a deck especially, is to play music as the way it's expected to, recording, you know, and stuff. It's not going to do some magic to you, but you know, when you are listening to uh, good music using high-end equipment such as depths and IEMs that are really good, I mean, you are really pursuing for the last mile. And I can tell you that the last mile here is just so different from the last mile here. I personally do not know which is better. I personally do not. If I'm listening to departure like sound just now, I would choose the M9 Plus. But if I'm listening to a whole array of music, I'm probably more inclined to the M17 because of its versatility. Its sound quality is really more versatile to play anything. It's not like stir out and boring. It's just this absolute silence in between instruments and then you have the music playing. It's a really nice experience. Now, that being said, uh, when I look at this, Yes, you know, the M9 Plus, is, it looks just slightly smaller, but actually it's a whole lot smaller if you look at it from every single dimension. It is shorter, it is less, uh, you know, wide, and it is definitely slimmer, and it's also significantly lighter if you hold on the hand like this. I mean, I'm not sure, you know, I can tell you that you, you can feel it's probably this plus an iPhone equal to this weight. You know, that's the difference. That being said, the price-wise, I do know that this is slightly higher than the M17. But because they are so different, I'm more inclined to just say choose what you like. I mean, the price difference is there. I believe it's a few hundred dollars. Uh, I can just take the price of Jabin and show you because they provided me this and they are the local distro for it. Uh, I can tell you that the price difference, I'm pretty sure it's just a few hundred dollars difference between them. But the sound difference is actually quite interesting. I would say as I don't favor either one of them too much uh, and depends on the mood of the day, I may choose this or this. Now, the other way to describe the sound of the M9 Plus will be take an M17 and pass it through a uh, tube amp but you know with very uh, mild tube biasness, something like the MHA200 I have in front of me. It doesn't have a very, very, very tubey sound. Something like this is very close to the M9. Probably the M9 is still a little bit more solid state feel, but you know, M17 with the MHA200 gets you slightly beyond the M9 Plus. This smoother vocals, they are slightly more forward, things are a little bit clearer, and you still have all the bass impact and stuff something like this I mean I mean I can't really describe it fully because I don't I didn't spend that much time but 
it is definitely something different. Now, when it comes to operation, I do think that the operation of the M9 Plus is better though. I, I do like the wheel here and, the, and it clicks, so it's easier to turn and this wheel just doesn't have. The only good thing of the M17 here, it has an end point, while this one doesn't have an end point. But it is very nice and easy to turn and it is a little bit more intuitive to turn here than to turn at the top. So the intuitiveness is there. And then the controls at the side, you can actually control the depth uh, and the music quite easily. And the most important part is that small little LCD at the top and this allows you to see uh, what is the bit rate that is being played and of course the volume being played without even owning your screen. And owning your screen is integrated to the uh, volume knob at the side so it's very intuitive you know you can use your thumb to control your volume and then off your depth together. So overall I think it's a very good showing. Uh, I will probably try this out a few more days and then come back to you guys with a final impression of this device. I'll try it with another IEM and the IEM will be the Noble Onyx which is a bit more warmth in nature already and you know I wonder when that pairs with this will it give you even a warmer and smoother sound. This is going to be interesting. Uh, and when I got time I'll try also with headphones with this device. I think this is a pretty nice alternative to the M17. Yes, it costs a bit more, but the quality of sound is also slightly different. And this may be the kind of sound that may tickle some people, while this is for some others. And that's about it for today. This is the initial impression of the M9 Plus from Shanling. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.